Well, isn't she a beaut? And it's about to be a whole lot better by the time we're done with it. Welcome, everyone, to a new series on Project Zomboid. Today, I thought I'd take away from the marauding and violent nature of the zombie apocalypse and do something that only Builder Bob can do now. And that is turning this old dilapidated construction site that has been forgotten in the apocalypse and turn it into a beautiful modern home. An art piece, true architecture, by Builder Bobby. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a lot of materials, a lot of sweat and a lot of labor, but I think I'm pretty damn prepared. And by prepared, I mean not really prepared at all. We got a toolbox, a cooler with some burgers and an empty gas can. Um, <laughs> little update as well. If you see that little live corner in the top left corner, I was streaming earlier on twitch.tv slash private lime. <laughs> and I forgot to turn it off. Check it out though. Okay, that's it. But I think I'm ready to take on this daunting task of turning this place into a forever home. You gotta stay hydrated if you're gonna work your butt off out here. So it's good that we did bring some supplies. But yeah, for the goal of the series, I want to turn this place into something that you could not even recognize. I really want to you know, get the creative juices flowing. And especially in a game like Project Zomboid, you don't really get a lot of chances to be creative, mostly because those creative juices are usually ripped apart by uh, zombies. But um, I think that should change, and I also really wanted to take a chill pill. Of course, before we even start with this um, whole construction project, we're gonna need some more supplies. And while we do have a hammer, a saw, and a screwdriver just to start us off with, it's not enough, really. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lead y'all over towards my temporary base. We'll be getting back here very soon. Right up here is gonna be a nice little temporary area for us to get our eggs in a row. Oh, I think I hear someone inside there. Well, 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 looks like, um, you two are occupied, huh? You know, I didn't say that this wasn't gonna be a zombie game. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to die with that. Ha! There we go. Hey, man. Um, I kind of need to live here, you know, I gotta do, like, construction worker things. I- I'm sure you don't mind, right? Right. So we're gonna be using this, uh, spot here to get our eggs in a row. Oh, Jesus, there's another! Oh, okay, uh, jeez. It feels good playing normal apocalypse, though. Gosh, I missed being able to take on more than one zombie at a time. We've- we've done too many crazy challenges, but anyways, we're gonna be using this place as a bit of a- bit of a hub until we can actually build up the construction lot into a workable place. And we are also a carpenter, giving us four levels in carpentry. And while that is a massive boost, it's not enough. So while I check food stockpiles in this place, uh, we're gonna begin the, uh, the, the task of um, sitting here for hours watching Life and Living. We also have a bandage here, some pants, and a saw. Wow, that was actually really nice. We also have a, d we also do have a trap here which I might set up really quick. Ooh, ooh, never mind, it's woodcraft time. Oh yeah. Ah, nothing can quite beat watching Life and Living TV to gain those beautiful skills. I, I love floors. Oh, look at that. We're already halfway to level five and at level six, we can craft some stairs. Anyways, now that that's done for today, we can hurry up and hit the ground running by checking out a Northern warehouse up near this place. So one of the things we do need to keep an eye out for is really nice furniture that we can include in the house and plaster. We're going to need a crap ton of plaster. So much plaster, you wouldn't even know. We're probably not going to get much, but it should be a start. And I really hope one of the zombies we do kill soon has a uh, digital watch as well. Right up here should be the warehouse. Oh yeah. It still reminds me of a horror game. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered by demons in here. But that's okay, because Builder Bobby could probably fight God and live. Even if this place is, uh, a little... worse for wear. So what we're looking for right now is just a bunch of materials that we will be able to use, and maybe even some cigarettes, right? But more importantly, I would love an axe. If we can get our hands on an axe, we can start to begin the process of, uh, building in a bunch of different spots here. Oh, yep, there's some zombies. Okay, hello there. So are you two like squatters or like have you just been living here for like God knows how long? I guess both of those answer the same question, don't they? Yeah, I'm kind of smart. And I'm also pretty damn strong as well. Oh yeah, no chance. Hey, check it out. We also got ourselves a digital watch. And now we can tell what time we have to actually go to life and living for, which is going to be 12 o'clock for each installation of that video. So, what were y'all trying to get into here? Uh, box and nothing else here. We probably won't get much out of this place, but it was worth a shot to check out at the very least. And we also do have another that we can check out as well. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And we are finally at the final story of this place. 
tea boys <laughs> I really want to meet the tea boys I feel like we would get along very well but hey we found the storage room which just has broccoli seeds welding rods and nothing that we actually need okay well it's worth a shot to check out anyways Let's get back on out of here, check our map, and in order to make it to the other warehouse, it's gonna be somewhere around this area. So, let's get on going on out there. Time is money. Money is time. You know what else is worth a lot of money? This truck. So let's try not to crash it horribly. Ah, isn't it beautiful though? All these abandoned homes. I am single-handedly going to increase the market value of this neighborhood once I'm done with this house. Oh, they're all going to be amazed at what I can do with this place. Ooh, almost, I almost crashed right into that stop sign. God, what did I do there? That was, that was pretty cool, man. Whatever, if we follow this right down here, we should hit up the, uh, the spot. I don't remember there being such a nice little, like, guard post here, though. Hello? Are there trinkets in here for me? I sure hope so. Yeah, yeah, we're in. Nice. Come on, give me something good. Just a radio. Hey, this thing's got the automated emergency broadcast system, though. Pretty cool. I'll take that. That, that, that'd be... Ooh, 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 now that I'm thinking about it. We got ourselves a freaking clock here. A cork board. We can use that. And that exit sign. Can I take it? <laughs> I will be taking furniture, because that's the only way we're going to be able to find some stuff here. So I will take as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got to get this place looking nice. Got to get it looking fancy. You're next, you damn radio. Get over here. And now we can drop off all these cool little trinkets into our truck. It's gonna take up a bunch of room, but I think it'll be 100% worth it. There we go. I don't know, I am actually very excited for this series because what it basically allows us to do is that if I want this place to look half decent, I'm gonna need to travel to a whole bunch of different locations throughout the world, maybe even Louisville, to get some really cool furniture that I can place inside that home. I also need to build it from scratch, which requires me to raid warehouses for plaster, water, all of that good stuff. And I think it'll be a very engaging series, because, you know, what do you think about Project Zomboid? I think of The Sims. But, alas, you can't play The Sims when you're getting ripped apart by zombies. But once you get good at fighting zombies, you can play The Sims again. And that's what I'm gonna do, damn it. We're going full builder mode this series. And here we are! Ha <laughs> ha! This place is where the magic happens, hopefully. Please give me a crowbar. Ah, uh, concrete powder, white paint. I'll take both of those. Yeah, 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 that paint will be perfect. Oh, yeah, give me all that good stuff. We're gonna need as many paints as possible as well. So, and I don't know what we can use a concrete powder for, but if we can uh, make concrete flooring, that's going to be game-changing. Ooh, nails. I'm gonna need actual millions of those, so that's good that we got it. And a metal bar. We can take that for another weapon. Okay, nothing else here. Let's continue heading on down and checking out some more of these crates. Actually, there are no more crates. Okay, we've uh, expended all the use here. Let's uh, head on back and uh, chill for a bit. I want to get as much life and living in my system as possible before the power goes out. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because while we can make wooden walls right now, we can't make tier 3 wood walls, which requires, I think, level 6 or 7 carpentry. But hey, I'd say for the first episode, this is a pretty good haul, you know? I, I think that's a great haul, actually. So let's get on back and uh, wait it out. We are going to be a nervous wreck because we don't have any Siggies, but that's fine. The pursuit of art takes sacrifice after all. And Builder Bobby here has sold his soul to a building contract that he will see till the end. Now you might be wondering why I'm not looting any of these uh, homes down the street, and it's pretty simple. I've looted all these before in a different series, and you don't get anything out of them. So really, the only thing you could do is disassemble everything and maybe salvage some of the parts inside for cool furniture. Anyways, what I do want to do really quick, though, is uh, leave off all of our construction supplies right in here. And in order to do something actually on the base, I'm going to go clean it up a bit. You know, get all these crates out of here, get all those stupid chairs out of the way. I want this to be a clean, spick and span area. And so let's hurry up, drop off all the stuff that we won't be using right now because it does take up space and we can always sort through it later. So yeah, I think it's about time we try and clear this place out as much as possible. This includes all of like the little trash pieces here. I don't want this place to be tainted, okay? I want this to be clean. We're probably gonna need some bleach to clean up some of these flooring, but at least we can get a lot of this out of the way right now. You know, pick up all the trash here and get it looking clear. Oh, and I also kind of forgot to uh, loot this place. We got ourselves a gravel bag though. That's um actually really damn good. Okay, there we go. We cleared out some of the junk here. I think in the morning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up all the stuff on the floor here, drop it off, probably use it as materials later. But I actually did want to keep these crates here safe 
because what I want to do is make a little storage area for these things and so we can have- Oh, Jesus, that's scary. But yeah, I want to have like a little storage place for some of these crates here that we'll be able to use. Instead of just leaving it on the floor, we can leave it, uh, placed in nice little locations. So I'm thinking we, uh, we place these, uh, this army of crates here once we get through all the trash right here. I, I like it. You know, it's centralized. We can place down three of these bad boys. We can put all this, like, trash and junk into that we don't need right now. I'm looking at you, massive pile on the floor. Bada bam, now we have a little bit of management. This is gonna be like the general tool stuff. This is going to be the building material stuff. And this here is gonna be like the furniture and dropping stuff. Of course, that US ham radio I'm actually gonna leave on the floor because that weighs 20 kilos and it probably just bogs everything down. Well, it's 11.20. I think it's about time we get back to our nice little base and we rest up for the day. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Next, we clear it out. And then I think we pay a visit up towards Riverside to get some more supplies. Huh. Another day, another dollar. Ain't that right, Jim? Yeah. Ah, it's 8 o'clock. Let's go help ourselves to some food here. AKA this, um, this half-eaten chicken is absolutely delicious. And now I think we wait until 12 o'clock to watch some more Life and Living. Me and my homies all love Life and Living. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I feel the knowledge going straight into my brain. Level five carpentry, just like that. Oh, so every afternoon we will watch Life and Living like it's a, <laughs> like it's a religion. But alas, I think it's about time we get on going. We're getting a little bit sad and we need some more supplies in order to pull stuff off correctly. But uh, before we do decide to head out, I do want to clear out this place just a tiny bit and get all those planks out of there. Sadly, I won't be able to move these like planks on the floor until I get a sledgehammer, which should hopefully be next episode. But anyways, let's pick up all this junk here, drop it off somewhere else. It ain't much, but it do be honest work. And hey, I actually forgot about a spot because of those little like support systems. But what we can do is um drop off any stuff that we find and delete them permanently this way so we can dispose it just a bit easier, including all this trash. Oh, this trash can is going to be a game changer for us. I like it. I like it a lot. Throw them bad boys in the trash. Delete them all. Bada bam. We'll keep that near our nice little stockpile. Disassemble this. And just like that, this place is looking a little bit better than we last left it. Don't mind that skinned corpse up there. <laughs> just keep your mind off of it. And while I am looking through here, we do need level 7 carpentry in order to create wooden walls level 3, which we are going to need. So we still got a bit of grind, but at least, you know, we've cleared it out and it'll look very nice very soon. Okay, I think after we help ourselves to a frickin' burger, we ought to go ahead up to the Riverside area and continue on at it. Oh, God bless the cooler and its mystical properties. I think if we head down this way, we should make it pretty damn close. I'll see you later, big home. And out of this abandoned place, we go. Down over towards the Riverside Warehouse. I don't know how much we're going to be able to loot, but I definitely do want to check it out. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we also have a Riverside map in our glove box here, giving us a location of the actual town. So we're actually not too far out from it, pretty damn close, and I think it's a very nice location to be at. I'm glad that the ghost town is up near this direction and not near somewhere like the mall in, in March Ridge. That would have been terrible. Oh my god, I almost flipped the truck. Okay, that could have been bad. I was... I took a little bit, a little speedy turn, and I almost just flipped this thing. Okay, this, uh, D6 does not mess around. Oh, why there's so many people here? Is that a... Actually, I see that meat cleaver there. Now, you might not know it, but a meat cleaver is a fine weapon to use to chop down trees with. So, um, yeah, time to fight God. Oh, little do these things know what I've been up against. Do you really think you can take me on? I fought vampires in another life. I know exactly where to hit you to where it hurts. And I'm gonna give you the biggest bonks of your life. Coming in, left field. Swinging at over a thousand miles an hour. Oh yeah, it, it is just, you never stood a chance, never should have come here. Um, honestly, I, I feel bad for you, I really do. If you think you can take on Builder Bobby <laughs> and one-on-one -on -one martial combat, you are wrong. Okay, there we go. Anyways, I will be taking that meat cleaver. With this, we can actually chop down some trees and begin our journey. 
so it's very good to have that around, and it was 100% worth it. Let's go chuck it in the back and keep her going then. On the lonesome road. And hey, we've made it. I think the next turn right down this way should be the warehouses, and this is where we're probably going to get the majority of our loot. Oh yeah, there's going to be quite a few that we need to take care of, but I feel with the power invested in me, we'll be able to handle this no problem. Yeah, look at all of them. Former colleagues. Hate to see what's happened to them. And I hate to see what's about to happen to them again. Pop! Oh my. <laughs> uh, you really should have picked a better fight. Mm. Builder Bobby doesn't mess around, okay? Builder Bobby knows exactly how to take these damn things out. And just like that, we've made it over to the next area. And more importantly, this is gonna be a lot of crates here that we can both disassemble and use for future use. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be well worth it. All of the trinkets and baubles right in my midst. I would also really, really, really like a, um, I don't know, like a, I got like bags here. No, no bags. Okay. What about cigarettes, man? I could, no, no cigarettes as well. Okay, that's fine. Let's go loot this bad boy up, and I think we'll end it off here. Oh, okay, we already have a gravel bag, so I'm not too worried about that. Bleach, I will need 100%. That's gonna be some good stuff. And we actually won't be dumping out the bleach. It's much more advantageous for us to, um, because what we can do with that bleach is clean up some of the dirt and stuff, some of the grime, which will be needed, especially when some of those floors are kinda icky. We also got ourselves a shovel, which is... You know, standard. Oh, five bags of plaster powder. Empty buckets for days as well. Bricks. Concrete powder. Oh, this place is... This is heaven for me. This is construction heaven. We even got freaking clay goggles here. Look at me, Mom. I'm ready. Safety first, you know. Construction is a very dangerous thing, and you can hurt yourself really easily. Okay, what I want- Oh, that's a big cord. Okay, we gotta take these things out right now. So, um, after I take out this massive horde here, what I wanna do is drive on our truck just so we don't even have to lug things back and forth. I'm, I'm literally just gonna back right in through this place and we're just gonna loot as much as possible. That plaster powder is gonna be perfect, though. So, come on, have at thee, you heathens! I will also be using this window here to my advantage. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yep, yeah, just like that. And avoid those lunges. You gotta use your surroundings to your advantage as well, and I'm gonna use it to every extent of my ability. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a one. Ooh. That's a two. That's a three. Oh, that's not three. That's fine. Let's hurry up. Hop around here and get them through these windows. Yes, there we go. Now we all are in my domain. That's another one dead. And then we can hop around easy, kill the crawler, and just finish it off like that. Our pipe did break but it worked out pretty damn well. Now there's also this group up here that I want to take care of because they are pretty close and me driving my truck around is going to attract every single one of them. So let's see how good they do against my hammer of justice, which is not good at all. They, they never stood a chance. Ah, killing all these zombies almost makes you wish for a spiffle themed burger, ain't that right, sir? Oh, I would kill for one right now, and I'm not talking about you. But, but seriously, if you do have some spiffle themed burgers, or if you know of a joint around here that I can get my fix at, I would love to hear. I, I love burgers. I love them so much. So very much. Okay, we've taken out most of them. There is three up there, but they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now we're gonna go park our truck in, and I think we ought to end the episode as soon as we hop on on in. Okay, this is gonna be good enough. We're pretty damn close. Let's uh, stop our truck inside, shut the garage, and we can end it off today. Boom! Sick here. Hold on. Oh, no. The, oh, that attracted a lot of them. Okay, that's that's not good. Let's go grab some water and let's finish them off. Oh, damn. That truck really attracted a lot of them, huh? Okay, then. Let's just get it started. Uh, you're making me use my build hammer for this. This thing is supposed to bring life to places, not end it. They're probably going to break down that garage door soon as well, so let's take them out. There we go. And let's go use this club hammer instead of our real hammer. Yeah. Okay, come on, you idiots. <laughs> I'm working on a real time crunch here. Just want to get in, get get to sleep, clock in, clock out. If you keep me working this long, I might have to unionize against you. You wouldn't want that. Eh, I might as well take up the other four here as well. Whew. 
blunt force trauma really puts you out of it. We have killed around 50 zombies, survived for a full day and a half, and I think we're doing pretty damn good for time. Anyways, I think I'm gonna finally end it off here. Next episode, we're gonna be looting throughout this entire area, getting all of the goodies you could ever want in life, which I am very excited for. We got a whole 143 capacity to work with today. So, yeah. Oh, this guy also had cigarettes. I'll, I'll help myself right now. Hold on. Anyways, I'm going to end the episode off here. I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite series to do. So I'm very excited for the future. We're going to clear this place out. Probably disassemble every single crate in here for that sweet XP as well. And yeah, we'll see where it goes. And then maybe, just maybe, we might start to build the foundation and every single wall at that place. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more, and Builder Bobby will see you on the next episode. Peace out, everyone.